Good morning to you. Well, after 31 albums, 90 million worldwide sales, and almost three decades, legendary glam pop rock band Kiss is calling it quits. Guitarist Paul Stanley and bass player Gene Simmons, the backbone of the band since they formed in Detroit in 1973, will be joined on stage by original guitarist Ace Frehley and their longest serving drummer Eric Singer for their farewell tour, which hits Australia in a fortnight. I spoke to the band in Los Angeles recently about their sensational career and their decision to call it a day. The farewell tour, you know, is a tour that celebrates 30 years of what the band has accomplished. So it pulls songs from all the eras, and it's really the culmination of everything we've done. All the high points of Kiss shows of past are in it, all the songs everybody has loved from all the eras of the band. And um, we just felt that rather than have people in a few years say, why don't you quit? We'd rather have them now saying, why are you quitting? We're going out on top. You know, we've got our eight inch heels and uh, we're stomping and coming your way. While Kiss have always been completely over the top, they still appear to have the ability to put it into perspective. And you know what, often when we hear ourselves talking, I, we're aware that it often comes off boastful. Please understand, half the time we can't believe it's happening. <laughs> we're to saying us. this. <laughs> yeah, it's true because we're we're so jazzed up about it. So what may come off as cocky, yeah, it really comes off as like just you know we're jazzed. So instead of saying and Tokyo Stadium is sold out, the real thing inside of us is going. Can you imagine? We haven't even gone there, yet, and we already sold out the stadium. So we're as jazzed about it as anybody. You know, the fact is we couldn't finish the farewell tour without coming to see all you great people. You know, in 1980, we did the largest tour to that point when we came over with uh, Ace and Eric Carr, played enormous crowds. We were told how big we were, but we really didn't know till we got there. Got the key to the city. Yeah, we, we just had an amazing time. And right. since then... You give it back this time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I heard that they already changed the lock. <laughs> so with the KISS Army out in force and ready to march, what can they look forward to? If you want the drums going up, you're going to see the drums go up. You'll see Ace shoot his rockets. You'll see Gene fly up, shoot the fire, you know, uh, the blood. You'll see me fly out over the audience and sing from a small platform. All the things that you think of as when you think of an ultimate kiss show are in this show. If you miss this, you be there or you be sorry. This is the last time you get to see it, and we would be honored to give back to you some of what you've given us. So is this Australian tour really the end, or is it just the beginning of the end? It certainly is our last show in Australia, but um, whether or not that's the last show of the band, I don't think we ever said that. It certainly is our last show there, and if that would be the reason you were coming, can you imagine you would buy a ticket just because it's the very last show that the band's gonna do? No, you should be there because it's the greatest show you'll ever see. Do they have other shows planned? It's a big world out there. We won't be back to see you, but we do have some more goodbyes probably. As they look back on an amazing ride, was the decision to go unmasked for a while a mistake? When we took off the makeup, we couldn't do it and fully believe in it. And that's always gonna be transparent to people if our heart isn't in something. You know, it's interesting because obviously nothing could compete with the lineup and the look of the original band. So we were, we were damned if we didn't, damned if we didn't. During the uh, 80s and 90s, although some people would say, well, you know, it's not, you know, the original and, you know, what about the, the makeup? The fact is those lean years that somebody would speak of made a lot of people very fat. 15 million albums were sold without makeup. So I think most people pray for mistakes like those. Some would say it's a little silly, grown men wearing makeup. When I'm on stage and I see the, the adulation and the enjoyment that I'm giving an audience and seeing kids in the front row going absolutely ape shit, you know, I don't feel silly. I feel like I'm fulfilling a purpose and uh, I'm making someone happy and at the end of the day, I'm, I feel fulfilled and the audience is fulfilled and uh, can't ask for more than that. All the classic icons throughout history, you could conceivably point a finger at and say they dress silly whether it's a guy that comes only once a year bringing presents and going ho-ho, that red outfit, the cheesy, <laughs> the cheesy sled that goes through the air with the reindeer flying, that's a little gimmicky, don't you think? On the other hand, there's this other guy that flies through the air and has an S. What's a grown man doing with tights and blue? Either you believe in the magic or you don't. If you believe in the magic, it's glorious. 
And for the true believers, the guys will be arriving in Australia with makeup the week after next. The tour kicks off in Perth on Thursday the 29th, takes in Adelaide, Melbourne and Sydney before the final hurrah on the Gold Coast on Black Good Friday, April the 13th. Still tickets available if you're interested, Stevie, for Carrara and some other shows. Now next week on the show, actor Billy Zane, who's in the country making a movie. Right. Bon Jovi, arriving in... Uh, Melbourne for a big show down there next Saturday week and uh, supermodel actress Paulina Potiskova and hopefully we're going to get her hubby Rico Kasich on the show as well driving force of the cars remember them yeah I got it all good man big I'll show be, I'll be big... at the airport to welcome kiss I'm sure <laughs> make sure you dress up they're looking forward to seeing you buddy. good news I'm looking forward to seeing them news and weather is next